today's video, I'm going to be doing another college video for you guys because you always seem to really enjoy them. If you haven't seen my other college videos, definitely go check those out. I will have them linked down below. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that a lot of people have been asking me about, and it is the infamous Freshman 15. If you don't know what the Freshman 15 is, basically it's this idea or statistic that when you go to your first year of college, your freshman year, you will gain around 15 pounds. Now obviously some people don't gain a full 15 pounds, some people gain more, some people gain less, um, some people avoid the Freshman 15 altogether and that's totally cool as well. Basically, it just depends on your body and so many different things. I'm going to cover on a few things that I definitely noticed um, probably were reasons why I gained a little bit of weight. I'm going to tell you guys my experiences with that and also tips and tricks on how to avoid the freshman 15. In no way is this a fat shaming video or me saying you have to like lose 15 pounds. You gain weight, you need to lose it. Like no, gaining weight is natural as a part of growing up and getting older. We are supposed to, you know, gain some weight. but. You know, there, for me personally, um, I did not want to drastically gain a ton of weight um, within a year span. I started noticing that I was gaining weight um, my freshman year. I definitely wanted to do a 360 on that and change the what whatever I was doing because I didn't I didn't feel my best. And I think at the end of the day, weight, it doesn't matter what number you are. If you don't feel comfortable and good in your own skin, then that's when you know that you should do something and take charge of your health. But I mean, if you're fine with like having a few extra pounds, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, curves, you should embrace that, embrace your body and just always try to make yourself feel 100% for your, your for yourself personally and never try to be a certain way for anybody else. Yeah, let's get right into the video. Gain some weight. So like after first semester, I basically noticed that I was gaining weight in my face mainly. It was really like big and bubbly. I was really bloated also like all the time. I just felt really bloated and heavy and just not good. Um, and so I started to notice these things and I was like, no, no, no. First tip to avoiding the freshman 15 is to definitely make a fitness plan from day one. So you just move into your college dorm, definitely day one, find out where the gym is, okay? If you don't like the gym, that's totally fine. You don't have to work out at a gym. Literally go find out where people like to run around in your area. Running on campus is always so nice, even just like doing little workouts. Um, but if you do like the gym, find out where your gym is, how you can like get signed up, get ready. If your gym offers gym classes, like fitness classes, um, my gym offers so many fitness classes. I feel like a class in general just like makes you more motivated to go because you like have made a commitment. Decide what days you want to work out around your schedule and stick to that fitness plan. Um, it's been shown that we um, create habits and stick to habits. Uh, and routines about 21 days in. So if you can go a whole 21 days with like creating a healthy habit routine of working out, you don't have to work out every single day. Um, obviously just do whatever you're comfortable with and whatever your body's comfortable with. But you know, you just like initiating that I'm gonna be in the gym at least once or twice a week, that's a great start. And tip number two is to just be smart about what you're eating. Um, a thing that I noticed I was doing, which was so bad looking back at it, um, was I was eating so much crappy foods constantly. Pizza was like a main meal for me before, and this was before I went vegan. Now I obviously like wouldn't eat that type of food, but um, this is when I was eating pizza, a lot of mac and cheese, um, a lot of microwavable foods in the dorm. Now obviously it's good to have like things, you know, like foods that you enjoy in moderation. Um, but for me personally, I decided that I wanted to cut it all out completely because I knew that dairy was making my skin look really bad and dairy was just overall just like hurting my stomach. And I never liked meat, I was vegetarian. So I decided to go vegan and the vegan lifestyle has definitely been a savior for me. This is me not, I'm not trying to push veganism on anyone. It really did help with my overall body weight, um, my bloating, I never rarely ever get bloated anymore. I was able to, you know, I never get constipated anymore on a vegan lifestyle and I just overall feel so much better and so much healthier and just energized and I wish I had just taken this on so much earlier. All of that aside, my vegan lifestyle aside, you really should not be eating pizza every single day. It's not good for you. It has very low nutritional value, if none, and it's really high in fat, high in saturated fat, and it's going to make you feel like shit, especially if that's like your main meal, which a lot of college students 
make their main meal because like it's so easy everybody likes it like just grab it go but no alter for something healthier from day one and you will definitely not be gaining all that extra weight to not consume a ton of soda or sugary drinks my um i think that's a big thing when people get into the dining hall you know with every meal you start to notice that you can have like a, a soft drink from the drink dispenser with it for me personally, I think that, that you just need to cut out completely. It's not good for you. Soda is bad for you. It's bad for your teeth. It's bad for your health in general. I never drank soda until college. And I drank it like first semester a little bit. I just drink water. Like hydrate like I'm doing right now. Just water is literally like the best you can possibly get. Cheers, bitches. So just make sure you're drinking lots of water. This is going to flush out all the toxins in your body and just make you overall have a glowing complexion and just feel healthier and better. Trying to cut back on your soda intake um, or even like sweet tea, like sugary drinks is really going to help you out because I noticed that I was doing it a lot more when I came to college versus when I was at home. I was just always drinking water. Do some research and look into your dining hall because a lot of people when they're freshmen, they are on a you know traditional dining hall meal plan. Look into the nutritional facts of these dining halls and what foods they're providing um, because it's all up on their website because some foods that you think would be healthy, um, like for me personally, I used to think that a Caesar salad was healthy. <laughs> No, Abby, it's not. Um, it actually has the same amount of calories as a pizza. So like, mm -hmm. look at the nutritional fa facts because sometimes some things that you think are healthier options end up not being healthier options. So just to do a little investigation and look into that before you go to school. Um, and just overall, like, be smart about what you're eating. You know, create a good meal plan, a healthy meal plan, and make sure you're getting enough veggies and fruits and all of those important things that we all know that we need. Next thing is that a lot of um, college students, a lot of people I noticed, definitely did not do myself, which was get a lot of sleep. You know, it's so easy to like stay up late. Like I even do this sometimes and it's so, so bad for me to stay up like till 5 a.m. on my phone looking at things and then you have to wake up for your 8 a.m. class. Don't do it. Get your sleep. Sleep is like, just like water. You need your sleep to survive. A huge factor when it comes to your physical health and weight loss and weight gain. If you're not getting enough sleep, your body has to work a lot harder to function and it's going to go into that survival mode. Um, chances of w gaining weight a lot easier. Whereas when you're sleeping and getting enough rest and really resting up your body and getting a lot of energy through sleep, then you are not as likely to gain as much weight. Do whatever you have to do to not get stressed because stress is another big Big thing that affects our overall weight loss slash weight gain. And another reason why I think a lot of people gain a lot of weight their freshman year of college is due to alcohol and um an over you know consumption of mixed drinks and sugary drinks every single weekend, every single Thursday, Thursday. A lot of people fall into this now. Obviously, not everyone, and obviously, I'm not saying that you you know should be drinking to have fun in college. I do notice that a lot of college students will be going out every single weekend drinking a lot of alcohol and a lot of sugary drinks and a lot of mixed drinks. And yes, I mean, alcohol, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's just like something everyone, you know, if they want to do it, you can do it. If you don't, you don't. But with all that aside, your body is not naturally supposed to drink all of that sugary mixed drink crap alcohol every single weekend. So um, cut back on the sugary mixers. Just overall try not to overdo it on alcohol if you're going to engage in that type of lifestyle when you get to college. Just be aware that all those drinks that you're drinking um, when you're out are going to affect your weight. So um, just be smart about that. Overall, everything should be done in moderation. Obviously, if you want to like hang out with your friends and go get food or go out to eat, do that. Don't let your overall health consume your mind and not let you do anything fun. You know, some of my best memories are me and my friends going at like 2 a.m. to just randomly go get like takeout and that's totally fine. That's fun. That's what college is. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe down below for more videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!